thing I like most about of it, uh, like most, is the knowing, like having a set date, like six weeks away, for example, and then it's just who's going to prepare themselves the best in that six weeks. You know, it's happening. Um, it's not just about training hard; it's about training smart, and you know, making sure that you're preparing the best for to show up on that night. It's a, it's a slog, that's the best way to describe it. It's Your body's constantly sore, your mind's always tired, but you've got to, you've got to push through it. Um, you know, training a couple of times a day, especially when you've got a fight coming up, you want to give that extra little bit in every training session, and obviously that takes out your body even more. Um, dieting, you know, not not being able to eat all the, all the food you want. It's a slog, but it's, you know, for me, I like the dedication. I like the I like putting my mind to something and concentrating on it, and then it all pays off at, at the end of the fight. I've been training about ten years now. Um, I've had fifteen pro fights, but I've also had I had eight amateur fights, and I've competed um, submission wrestling and Muay Thai as well. So, but as I've more experience, I'm much calmer, um, calm and confident. Really, of course, there's always nerves. I'd be worried if there wasn't because. That's what keeps you sharp, but um, yeah, calm and confident before a fight. Driven, driven individual. He be in your face non-stop, no matter what. You can throw anything at this kid, and he just does not quit. Hi, Matty Fight Number Mount. Shay Walsh, I would have to say, was the surprise of the entire group. I think he just turned a lot of heads. He had a bit of experience. He had a pretty good fight record coming out of England, but when it came to the ground. He really blew us all away. I always knew that I wanted to do it. It was just going to be if it was going to be possible. Um, I had a couple more amateur fights, and then I knew that uh, turning pole was around the corner. And um, when I when I turned pole, I wanted to give my all to it and just concentrate on training as much as I could. The style of the stand-up out here has definitely made me more powerful because when you're cracking them pads, it's just you know power, power every single shot. Um, you just got to remember to keep your feet moving. That's the only the downfall. Jiu-Jitsu is great with Fernando. There's um, you know it's every morning now, no gi, so I try and get there as much as I can. Uh, always learning different little tricks, and uh, there's always a lot of good grappling partners in there, especially. The way that Tiger is, some people are in and out, but that's great because you know you might have been rolling with a good guy for a couple of weeks, he disappears, but someone else with a different style replaces him, and you're not just getting stale doing the same stuff all the time. You you've got to work around everyone else has got different good and bad areas, so it's brilliant. The wrestling's the wrestling's really strong out here. I know obviously a lot of people with Thailand they think it's more Muay Thai, but 
Uh, there's Roger and George running the classes and also a lot of the other guys from the tryouts and stuff. We've got some good wrestling between us, so yeah, it's really good. And this, the sparring's fantastic, you know, every round, you know, if we're sparring five rounds, you're getting tested every round. Um, again, with different styles, you're getting tested in different areas, so it's perfect. You can try and have partners in the gym who'll, who'll try and emulate their style. Rogers is open. You can see the mouth guard quite clearly as Jay Watts looks. Moves in behind some punches. Secure positioning. Shay's tapping. Looking for a trap. It's great here. I mean, uh, obviously, there's great coaching and good sparring partners and everything like that, but. Um, I think the main thing for me is that it really makes it easy to do the little extra bits. You know, when I'm out here, I've got nothing else to think about. I'm just training full time. Um, it's easy. I get up early and do the yoga most mornings. Uh, you know, then whatever I've got on training in the morning, eat well, my protein. You know, I can go and rest in the sun or have a little nap if I need it and train again. So it's a perfect lifestyle, aren't we? Lancaster.